This is Star Talk. So let's move on to Joe Gessua, uh, or Gessior. So he's coming Gessior. from Facebook, and he says, <laughs> he goes, he hey, Bill, <laughs> don't forget the dioxins. Better address this one, Bill. Uh, yeah, so dioxin was uh, another- I, I put that tone in there myself. Uh, thank you, yeah. yeah. Uh, but I, I think you're in the spirit mm-hmm. of his uh, in- inquiry, his mm-hmm. query. Mm-hmm. Uh, the uh, dioxins were another chemical used, I guess, as a pesticide that turned out to have really troubling consequences. Okay. And so they've been curtailed, stopped. But I've met people in the biotech industry, in the seed business, who think DDT is a, was a great thing because it- Because uh, it sup- did the job. Well, suppressed mosquitoes right. and that suppressed malaria, but- I'm not sure DDT is what we all want to be drinking. And so dioxin was even more uh, aggressive as a medical problem. And so it's been curtailed. Just that these companies used to make uh, deadly uh, herbicides used in warfare, Agent Orange. Mm-hmm. Well, they're, they were hired to do that, and they're not doing it anymore. I, I don't know how responsible we should hold them. However, we should learn from the past. Like, don't. Don't just make stuff that's amazingly deadly and spread it all over the place on another country and take no responsibility for it. So, you know, that sounds like a good policy. But this, once again, Chuck, demands that that evil word that is troubling to so many people nowadays, regulation, regulation. <laughs> mm-hmm. where we'd all get together and decide what's fair and make people stick to it. Regulators, mount up. Okay. Well, in moderation. So <laughs> uh, in general... This is a solvable problem. Mm-hmm. Far, the seed companies are in business to f- sell seeds to farmers, and farmers want to buy seeds that they want to buy. And th- so the market takes care of it. However, having companies make pesticides or herbicides, which have bad consequences, you can regulate that. I think what happens is, in the mind of the consumer, is you have a company like Monsanto who makes the seeds. They genetically modify the seeds. They modify the plants to create the seeds. They modify the plants to create the seeds. And then they plant those seeds. Then they make the food, and they also put the food on the shelf. And I think this is where a great deal of suspicion stems from. Vertically integrated. It's vertically integrated. And that makes you that makes you scary. You know, that, that, that's, that's... Scared. A, yeah, it's... it's Scared. Well, yes, you. Thank are you. frightened. I'm frightened. <laughs> <laughs> Sitting here is very troubling. Uh, I, I know what you meant, though. Okay. It's another adjective related, the same root. Right. I got you. But root, pun intended, when it comes to agriculture. So the, the deal is farmers make choices. They can do business with Pioneer or Monsanto or whatever, and uh, you can buy food from this guy or that guy. But I know what you mean. It's troubling when you feel like you're out of control. Right, because the whole so process from why, stem to stern seems to be them. This is why uh, the non-GMO movement has a place. Okay. We'll see if that's economically competitive. Like, uh, And you can say corporations are squashing them. I don't think so. I think you'll find that organic farming takes more input than uh, than uh, farming with genetically modified crops. And so we'll let the, the marketplace sort that out. I mean, people make jokes about a certain business, and they call it whole paycheck. Mm-hmm. Right. Because – the food is so expensive. Yeah, that's right. Because it's what grown it takes in such small, small quantities with high input. So we'll see what happens in the marketplace. All right. This is Star Talk. Star Talk.